Welcome to the crew, Tube Bump Cabin Crew. We're gonna talk about the band Skid Row and their issue with keeping lead singers in their band. Plus some other bands within the same, you know, say conundrum. Skid Row. What more is there to say about them except they had a heyday between 1989 and about 1993. Good four-year run, four or five-year run, and then it just tapered off. And uh, when it all tapered off, they fired singer Sebastian Bach and blah, blah. Here they are all these years later. They've gone through, I don't know, five, six, seven lead singers. And now they've gone through another lead singer. This guy, Eric Gronwall, is a European guy. Who can sing very well and he leaves the band with I mean recently leaves Skid Row with about I think eight shows left in a tour eight shows in a tour and he's leaving the band this is really uh, a really you, you got to look a little bit past the official statements made by the singer himself and the band so the official statement from the band is that this guy wants to you know get back to being healthy and whatever uh this this singer eric gronwall gronhall whatever had health issues before he even joined skid row but now apparently these health issues have prohibited him from playing eight shows left in a tour hmm so when this guy gronwall made his statement about leaving Skid Row, he also mentioned how he was writing an autobiography. Now, that's a very important statement to make. So, when you talk about this band Skid Row, they've gone through all these different lead singers, all the albums they've pretty much made since Sebastian Bach was the lead singer back in the 80s and 90s, have been largely forgettable. Most people don't know anything about those albums, except this last one, which was made with this current singer who just quit with eight shows to go, blaming his health on not playing with Skid Row anymore. He has quit the band. Couldn't just say, I can't do these last eight shows, I just want to get healthy, and uh, I'll see you next year. Nope. Didn't happen like that. Very strange you see statements like that made where a talented singer just quits and says, oh, I'm not healthy enough to sing, but I'm going to write an autobiography. Here's my take. I think it's all BS. I think this guy, okay, it's either two things. He is legitimately sick and has to leave the band, get treatments or whatever, He's being told by the doctor, don't go on the road. And, you know, it's okay if you write a book. No, I, I don't think that's it at all. I don't think this guy stops singing just because he he's unhealthy. He will sing, but he just doesn't want to hit the road. He could still sing with Skid Row on the next studio album, whatever. But I think what really happened, and this is what happens with all rock bands it's all about the money okay something happened with this band and this singer that he quit with just a handful of shows to go he is claimed to be too sick to play these handful of shows no i think he left that band i think what happened was when he left i think skid row did not like the fact that this guy was going to write an autobiography and wanted to take time off to do that. They wanted a full-time singer. And this guy, who's just been on the road with them for the past two years, probably just wanted a break and said, hey, I'm, I'm going to write a book. I'll come back at the end of the year. And the band Skid Row said, no. We want to continue touring. Okay, that's probably really what happened. I don't buy that he just leaves the band because of health reasons. I'm pretty sure the band said, you know, why don't you just 
you know, no, we, we can't have a singer who's like part time and just singing on albums and playing sporadic shows. We're a touring band. We play 75 shows to 100 shows a year. We need a guy who's out on the road with us. Well, you've gone, Skid Row's gone through, I think, six, seven lead singers since Sebastian Bach. <laughs> And one of them died. I have to admit, Johnny Solinger, the guy who was there for a long time, did pass away. And they've had a tough time even replacing him. But this latest guy, Eric Gronwall, seemed to be the guy for them. And he just left. Health reasons? No. I think it's about money, that they weren't paying him enough. And it wasn't worth it for him to go on the road with them all the time. Because you're not really selling records anymore, and they were probably paying him 300 bucks a night, 300 bucks a show, something like that. I don't know. I'm not associated with the band, but it seemed like the band did not want him being like a part time singer, like singing on their albums and then, you know, not touring as much. And that's a problem with the band Skid Row. The guys in that band, without Sebastian Bach, haven't really amounted to much. Their albums don't sell. Unless Sebastian Bach is singing on them. He, Sebastian Bach sang on three albums. The debut, Slave to the Grind, and Subhuman Race, which are largely considered their three best albums. But before Sebastian Bach, Skid Row was formed in the mid-1980s. Guitar player Dave Sabo was a friend of John Bon Jovi. They're both from Sayreville, New Jersey. And before Bach became the singer of Skid Row, Skid Row had a, another singer in the band. And Bon Jovi saw this and saw his friend's band and said, Oh, these guys are pretty good, but maybe you need a more, uh, a better singer with more stage presence. And that's what ended up happening, because Bon Jovi was managed at the time by Doc McGee. If you don't know who he is, he's a very famous rock manager and drug trafficker. <laughs> that too, you can look it up, but Doc McGee is the one who pretty much spearheaded Skid Row's career. Bring in Bach. He's a Canadian guy. He's tall, skinny cute for the girls to look at and a voice that'll melt steel and they went to the top with that they've sold probably 30 40 50 million records since that point who knows they all became millionaires with box singing and then it all came to an end in the mid 90s i don't know the details they claim box an asshole i think they're all assholes who made enough money to retire on and they don't give a shit anymore but here we are in 2024, and Skid Row's looking for another singer. What's going to happen? Bach will be back. There's no doubt. They cannot keep a singer in that band for shit. They've brought in, like, Tony Hornell, singer of the band TNT, another guy with great pipes. What did he last, six months? You know, I don't, I, I don't even know the, the names of half of these guys who've sang for him. But the bottom line is, like I said, the money. And I think this current guy left because of a money situation. I'm, I'm pretty certain because he don't sell a lot of records. Skid Row has to tour. They're touring 7,500 shows a year. Why? For fun? I don't think so. I think they're doing it for the money. They claim to have enough money, but... There's no way in the world guys in their 50s are going to go on the road for a year and do all these shows for the hell of it. Get on a tour bus, go town to town, sleep in crappy hotels, eat crappy food just to play a 90-minute show in some dump water club. Mm. No, if you have money, you don't do it like that. And that's what they're claiming. They have enough money, they don't have to tour. Then why do you tour? And tour and play clubs and small theaters. Because with these other singers, that's what you're doing. You're playing clubs and small theaters. But with Bach, if he came back, they would be bigger than ever. There's no doubt about it. Because it'll 
right on par with like what Pantera is doing. Pantera is touring without the Abbott brothers. And they're selling out Madison Square Garden. That's insane. The two main guys in the band who formed the band are gone and they're still selling out the garden. What could Skid Row do if they got Sebastian Bach back? And not just Bach, the original drummer too. Rob Afuso. Afuso. I believe that's how you say it. They put that original Skid Row back together. They will take the same route that Pantera took. That Live Nation Ticketmaster threw at Pantera huge money to go and open for Metallica and then do your own tour and play places like Madison Square Garden, which Skid Row has never headlined at. They've never headlined in New Jersey, like a big arena that, that I know of. They have played Giant Stadium with Bon Jovi, but they never headlined. And that is what will be sold to the current guys in the band Skid Row to bring Bach back to headline a venue that they never did before. So again, it is about the money and how much can be generated by playing large venues. So I think this current singer, I'd say he was fired uh, because... You know, he he wanted to write a book, whatever. No, 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 it's all bullshit. I think they pretty much got rid of him softly to bring Bach back. There had to have been a massive, massive proposal, say, from Live Nation to bring them back with Sebastian Bach. Bach hasn't said a word about this that I know of to the press because he has his own album coming out. So they're not going to talk about this until Bach's album comes out, and until the end of the year, and I guarantee, beginning of 2025, you're going to hear the original Skid Row is back together, and they're going to go on tour with, like, Poison or something like that, do a stadium tour uh, with, like, a headliner Poison, whoever the fuck they can get, and do this big tour, and then go on their own and play places like The Garden or the L.A. Forum, or whatever huge, enormous domes that are out there. So that's my take on the current Skid Row situation. And it applies to a lot of other bands, too. It's all about the money and the offers that come in. I think it's a lot of bullshit. But hopefully that guy, the, the singer who just quit from Skid Row, really does get healthy if he's really sick. You know, I'm not making fun of it or anything like that. Hope he gets healthy and sings again. But I don't think he knew what he was getting into with those guys in Skid Row. Those guys know what the bottom line is. They could say they want to be happy without Bach, but they have one more shot to headline places like Madison Square Garden on their own, and they know it. Watch out. 2025, Skid Row, Bach and a few so back. So that's my take on that. Say what you want. I don't care. I'm not affiliated with the music industry. I just take a straight down the middle look at things. There's my yakking. Till I see you next time. Peace. Cheers.